Hi there, if you would like to stream to YouTube, Facebook, and any other platform from Zoom, then I'm gonna show you the simple steps to do so right now. Hi there, David Walsh here once again, here to help you grow your YouTube channel. In this series on how to Zoom, I'm gonna show you how you can connect Zoom to multiple platforms or multi-stream to those platforms with one simple step. So let's head on over to the trusty computer as I show you how. So the first thing we want to do is head on over to Zoom. Now, if you don't have an account at Zoom, make sure to head on over here and just get yourself an account. You can start with a free one. So when you have set up for Zoom, head on over to the My Account section here. You wanna to go to Settings on the left-hand side, then click on In Meeting Advanced. Scroll down to where it says, allow live streaming meetings. This one right here, toggle that on. So you now have a number of options under here. You have Facebook, you have Workplace by Facebook, you have YouTube, and you also have custom live streaming service. So if we switch these on, you will then have these available to you inside of the Zoom app. So if they're switched off like this, just switch on whichever one you want. So if you just want Facebook, then do Facebook. If you want YouTube, then do YouTube. But if you want to do Facebook and YouTube and any other platform, then you will need custom live streaming service. So once you have them switched on, head on over to your Zoom app. I'm gonna click on new meeting. So I'm just gonna start a meeting right now. So here we are now inside of Zoom. So on the bottom down here, you have under more. If I click that, I will have the option now to select Facebook, live stream on YouTube, or go to a custom streaming service that I want. So again, if I go to Facebook, option here on Facebook. So it asks me where I want to go. If I want to go to my timeline, to share in a group, share an event or post on a page that I manage. So if I go to page that I manage, I can select any of the pages that I have here. So if I just select this one, click on next, and then it will open up Facebook Live and stream right there. So if I just have this open here. So it will open it up. You can see me streaming there. It'll give me all my data there. So I'm just gonna close this. So to end it again, you just click on end or you can just do that there. So I'm just end meeting for all. So I can go to live stream on YouTube just the same way, click on the option, select the one that I want. And then I can pop in the meeting. I can select on listed, click on go live. And then it will set up YouTube individually there as well. So we can see that, I'll just mute myself. So you can see me streaming on there and I do have my little Zoom logo down there. So that is individually with YouTube. So if I want to go to multiple platforms, then I use this link here and I'm gonna to connect to a service called Restream. So Restream allows you to connect to Facebook, LinkedIn, YouTube, Periscope, and multiple other platforms so that you can stream your Zoom meeting to those platforms all at once. So I'm gonna click on this option here. And then it brings up this page here and asks me for the relevant information to stream to Restream. So I have a Restream account here. So once you set up your Restream account, and then there is a link in the description below if you don't have a Restream account, that will get you $10 off your first month on there. So click that, set up your account. There are free options. So if you do get a paid account, you will get the $10 off. So once you have your account set up, go in here and then add channels. So you can add any of these channels here. So you can do uh, Facebook Live to your personal account for free. If you do want to do it to a group or a page, you do need a paid account. So select any of these here, just go through the simple process of connecting and verifying your account. And once you have them available, you will have this on the side here. So I'm gonna to stream to a Facebook group. I'm gonna to stream to a YouTube channel and then also to Periscope as well. So to get this information, I need my RMTP setting information. So I'll click on this here. So I'm just gonna copy this, head to my Zoom page, pop in the URL. Then I need to get my stream key, so copy that. And make sure to keep this secure and hidden because if anybody gets this, then they can stream using your Restream account to your platforms. So again, just copy this, 
head on over here and I'm gonna paste that in there. And if somebody does get your details, just click on reset there. So I'm gonna click on it, done. Now the last thing we need is a streaming page URL. I'm just gonna take my Periscope account here. So if I click on that, then it will give me the URL here. So I'm just gonna take this and then pop that information in there. And again, I could have taken the Facebook, I could have taken the YouTube or any other one that I have on there. So click on go live. So it's setting up my meeting for custom streaming. And now we are going live. So you'll see the details. Here is my stream on Periscope. If I go to restream, you can see the stream here. And there is a bit of a delay, obviously. So you will take a bit of time to come through. And I can view the event on Facebook. So there is my event on Facebook and I can also view it on YouTube as well. So these three platforms are now going live from my Zoom meeting. Now, if anybody puts in a chat in here, this will pop up inside of Restream and I can use my Restream chat software here. Again, there's a link in the description below for that. So I can see all chat options in here. So if somebody pops in a thing on Periscope, you can see there's my chat there. So it says I need to log into comment. So you can see my comment that I put in the chat option is there. So if I go back here and add another one, you'll see now it's popped up. Now I have the software connected. And to stop the live stream, all I have to do is go up here to the top, click on stop live stream. I can click on that and I, then I can keep my meeting running without it being streamed to those platforms. And again, if I want to just end it, I just click on end. Now you've got your Zoom connected up to YouTube and Facebook and maybe even LinkedIn Live too. What are you going to stream to it? Let me know in the comments area below. I'd love to know what you are streaming cross platform. And as always, if you're not already a subscriber, make sure to click that subscribe button, hit the notification bell to be notified when we upload more videos to help you like this. And if you want to do even more with Zoom, make sure to click that link right there for more tricks and tips.